Hey, Sherry. Hi, Mark. Well, um, boy, we just had a really fabulous forum, didn't we? We had a wonderful forum. <laughs> yeah, it was really great to have our friends from Beth Jacob and Anabat Dachim and uh, Beth El here. Uh -huh. And the spiel was just fantastic. I love the spiel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, even the Megillah reading, that was cute too. I mean, yeah. it was it was a fun time. Yeah, yeah. It was all it was all really great. Yeah. And uh, to have so many people from the community here gathered here was yeah. just just really exceptional. It was nice. So, uh, but we have a lot to look forward to. We do. Um, uh, this week, uh, tomorrow night, as we are recording this on Friday night, uh, we'll have a special guest speaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talk about the uh, wonderful things going on at the Homeless Hospitality Center in New London uh, quite often. And um, uh, not wonderful that people are homeless, but uh, that we have such an uh, exceptional organization. Yes. And this community is really a, a blessing. And uh, someone I count among my friends, uh, the executive director, uh, Kathy Zoll, will be coming to speak to us on Friday night and tell us about the innovative things that are going on at uh, HHC, the Homeless Hospitality Center in New London. Uh, that will be a, a really special thing. So if you can join us in person, that would be great yeah. so that we can uh, warmly welcome uh, Kathy um, and uh, show her the appreciation that I think that she deserves for uh, the just phenomenal things that she does in our community uh, that that would re be really great so uh, so do join us for that uh, Sunday this week mm -hmm. uh, we have another Sunday fun day in the religious school and we're going ice skating um, so it'll be you know still winter time ice skating still seems like a good thing to yeah. do so we're gonna go ice skating up in Norwich and the, these Sunday fun days are just fantastic because uh, they're an opportunity for um, you know, our religious school families to join together and something that's just fun and enjoy being together and uh, really, you know, build their own uh, sense of community yeah. within our Temple Emmanuel community. And that's really important too. Um, and then uh, on March 19th, March what, do, 19th, what do we have coming up there? Italian night. Oh yeah. Good food. Yeah, so the special uh, <laughs> eggplant Parmesan recipe uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, Mike Reinhardt, I think, yes. is the uh, yeah. uh, the uh, the spirit behind that. Um, yeah. So that is coming up. You don't want to miss that. So Italian night, March 19th. Yeah. And uh, then uh, the only other thing we have to mention uh, as far as events go is uh, the Passover Seder. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that's coming up first uh, night of Passover. Uh, find that on your calendar. But more importantly, find it in your bulletin or find it in our Friday messages that we send out. Um, on the website. Uh, and also on the website. And the thing that you need to do is RSVP. Uh, because I know that there are lots of people <laughs> who have not RSVP'd yet. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, we don't have the same crowd every year, but uh, each year we have uh, 80, 90, 100 people gathered for this uh, Seder. And so now it is time to RSVP. So please do, because uh, we are looking forward to this so much. Definitely. We're going to be at Langley's. At Langley's, absolutely. Uh, in Waterford. And uh, really be, be wonderful. Yeah. So, so RSVP if you would. Um, and then the last thing I want to mention is that um, we're recording this on, on Thursday. And uh, in, on Thursday in Israel, uh, there was another national day of protest. Oh, yes. And uh, I've talked about this uh, last week, and I've talked about it from the BIMA. Uh, I talked about it last night in our board meeting, um, that there is some really critical things going on in Israel. If per chance you are not aware, uh, you really need to um, get get up to speed uh, because um, probably more than any other time in my lifetime, for sure, yeah. uh, Israel needs us. Uh, it needs our voice. And so you figure out what that means for you. 
Um, and if you need some help figuring that out, please, please do contact me. But um, I left you uh, links in last week's YouTube message, uh, different ways that you can get information uh, and uh, get involved and, and hopefully feel comfortable enough to raise your voice in any way that, that uh, feels comfortable to you. Israel needs us. Uh, it is our homeland. It is. Um, whether we are a citizen or not, we are. Uh, if you're Jewish and you're watching this, you're a member of the Jewish people. You're a member of Am Yisrael and uh, Yisrael, uh, Midinat Yisrael, the state of Israel, needs, needs our voices okay. to, uh, to get things back on track. Um, so, so please do that. Um, and I'll, I'll repeat those links this week. Okay. Um, so that people have them. Maybe add a few. Nice. Yeah. So anyway, that's enough for uh, today. <laughs> Again, uh, please be with us on Friday night at 630. Come in person if you can. We will have an own egg. Yeah, I was going to say, there's own egg. <laughs> <clears throat> there will be an own egg. But uh, more importantly, come out and uh, uh, hear uh, all of the uh, innovative things that are going on to... Uh, combat the homelessness and uh, um, uh, housing insecurity in southeastern Connecticut uh, from Kathy's all. So we'll look forward to seeing you. I'll see you then. Sounds good. I'll say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.